Westmoreland County leaders are making some changes when it comes to where you can vote. This is in response to the rising number of coronavirus cases there. Ross Kadati joins us live with where some polls are moving. Ross. Yeah, I want to make everybody understand this. First and foremost, the vast majority of voters will go to the same polling places they've always gone to, no problem at all. But there are a handful of places that have changed. Why and where are they? Let's take a look. When it comes to the upcoming election in COVID-19, you can probably understand why Westmoreland County Commissioner Sean Curtis feels this way. It's been one of those years that we can't wait for it to end and, and start anew for 2021. The pandemic forced the county to make significant changes a few months ago as to where folks could cast their ballots. In the primary, we moved a lot of locations. And now we're going resetting back to the original locations that have, have been always been used. But not all. Seven polling places have new homes, at least for this election, and it again has to do with COVID-19 concerns and how close voters could be to others. If a school couldn't do it or a church, we found another location that's allowing us to do be holding the election in those facilities. So which polls are moving? Here they are. Vandergriff, 1st Ward, North Huntington, 1st Precinct, 1st Ward, North Huntington, 6th Precinct, 2nd Ward, New Kensington, 7th Precinct, 1st Ward, New Kensington, 4th Precinct, 1st Ward, Hempfield, New Stanton, Derry Township, Scalp Level. These new, new locations are allowing us to do the elections inside those facilities. Finally, if you have any questions, you are encouraged to call the Westmoreland County Board of Elections. If there's questions, you, call, you can call in and get a response or an email. Some, someone will get back to you. All right, you're probably saying, okay, those are the places that are changing. Where are they changing to? Well, that list would include a whole bunch of addresses and a bunch of numbers that if we flashed them on the screen for a second, you might not see. So this is what I want you to do. Check out KDKA.com or the KDKA app on your smartphone or mobile device. All the information will be there. Good luck. Reporting live, Ross Gadotti, KDKA News. Thank you, Ross.